Really excited today. We've got one of my clients, James, here. And I'm really, really excited to do this interview because James and I started working together and he wanted to level up his music and you wanted to get to that place where you're able to fully produce, mix, master, record, just be that all around self-producing artist. Mm. You've been an incredible contribution to the community, coming to group calls, you know, giving feedback to other people, asking for feedback. You've just been one of the best people that's been in the program. And I'm just really happy that I had you in the program. And really happy to have you here on, on this interview. So James, what's up, dude? Welcome in. And how's everything going? Um, everything is going very swell. Like everything is, um, hell at the end of this week, I get to go to my uh, best friend's little sister's wedding and she's yeah. like the youngest of, out of them all. So I'm like, that's the last wedding we have to go to. Thank God. And, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm excited for that. And, um, excited for my music that's going to be coming out in the middle of November. So I'm yeah. excited for that. Dude, me too. Yeah, I'm pumped. Um, Because you've been working on the song Standing on Business. That's the name of your song. You've been working on it for a minute. You've really put in the work yeah. to perfect that. Could you kind of share, um, share what the process has been like in terms of creating that song? All right. All right. This is going to be interesting because uh, this isn't the first version, as you know, of Standing right. on Business. <laughs> I started it in December, had no idea what I was doing. And I just felt so low come January. And I'm like, something has to give, something's got to click. And then something finally clicked. And I'm like, oh, I got this. Okay. So I recorded this, that, and the third. I mixed it well. You were like, that sounds good. Except for one thing. The melody sounded repetitive. And mm -hmm. I'm like, hmm. I remember that. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Let's start from scratch. Let's start from scratch. So I started from scratch. I made the beat. And I'm like, all right. Time to record. Didn't know what I was going to write. And I'm like, you know what? Lee did say just hum through it a little bit. See what you can find. See what you can do. And the next thing I know, boom. I had the hook. Boom. Had the first verse. You know, the second verse is that kryptonite. <laughs> the second verse is always kryptonite. Yes, <laughs> but once I got that down, um, everything from there is like smooth sailing until I got to the mixing. That's <laughs> That's where things got a little hairy. But because of all the videos you made, man, that's like the Bible to me, bro. I, mm -hmm. I go to videos all the time. If I can't remember something, I'm like, mm, oh, yeah, let me go back here, see what Lee talking about, boom, 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 boom. And I mixed it. And then I, uh, for this specific like title, I wanted to uh, do something special. So I got this plugins that you uh, told me to get called, um, what's it called? Uh, plugin, uh, drum, what's it called? Drums That Knock? Oh, you got drums that knock. Okay, by yes, decap. Sir. Yes. And I'm like, oh awesome. wow. This is oh yes, this is it. This is this is what I was missing right here. This was this was the 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 peanut butter to the jelly right here. You know what I'm saying? And before I put it through the master, I'm like, all right. And I just took a breath and I'm like, let's do this. And I mastered it. And the first time around, it sounded pretty good. And I was like, wow. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I'm like, wait a minute. I just recorded. I mixed. I mastered. And now I'm about to release my first single. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. It was cool. That's tight. Yeah. And I, I, I love that you told that story. And I asked you that specifically because I know you had to make a new version of it and you yeah. reproduced it. And I was like, whoa, like this is dope. So I was super, yeah. super uh, wanted to ask you about that. So like, before coming into Rapid Fire Music Academy, what skill set did you have in terms of your music? Um, well, in 2007 is when I first cut my teeth on recording anything, right? It was my best friend, Steve DeLeon. He put me on. I don't know if you ever heard of this. Um, I can't really call it a doll because it's not a doll. It's a... Uh, Mm, it's software and it's called Mixcraft. It's from back in the day. I it heard was, of it. Oh, you have? Okay. That was, that's where I cut my teeth on everything. And uh, from there, I just fell in love with producing. Uh, the only thing I didn't know how to do was pretty much make the beat itself. I already had the lyrics. I've been writing since I was in, oh my God, sixth, seventh grade, bro. Like I started off doing poetry and I was like, you know what? Let me, let me try a freestyle. Let me, let me write a freestyle right quick. And I tried to make it to the beat and I could not catch the beat for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I just started doing it like uh, acapella. And then finally I got a flow down and I was able to, you know, match the flow with the beat. 
And that's when it, I started picking up in high school. I'm like, oh, I could actually do this. I could actually do this. So that's when I started kind of recording in high school, but I didn't take it seriously until after I graduated. And then 07, that's when everything just took off from there, man. Mm. Yeah. I started on GarageBand. Yeah. So <laughs> like yeah. Mixcraft, you know, like, yes. cool. So, okay. So you, you sunk your teeth. You said 06, 07 was when you started writing. Yes. Okay. Well, and you were... That that was back in like sixth seventh grade. Oh, okay. Middle school, man. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. So when did when when did the mix craft happen? Like, what year was that? That was 07. That was a year after I graduated in 06. Okay, got it. Okay, sweet. Yeah, yeah. So, and you were writing and recording. What were your mixing and mastering skills at that point? Um, <laughs> basically, if we had to put a percentage, probably five percent. I did not know anything. I just knew how to uh, level the voice out, try to make it level with the beat. And that's all I knew. You know, I didn't know any plugins. I didn't know any of this. Like my friend, Steve, he did all that extra stuff. Me, I just did the basic things to make you hear me. I'm clear. You can hear me. That's all I knew. So stumbling upon this, which I literally stumbled upon, this was a game changer. So this was, this was, I got to say, this was everything. For me honestly wow you're talking about rapid fire oh god yes oh, <laughs> i just want to make sure you're talking about what I... that's okay. crazy okay. um why why was it such a game changer for you well okay well <laughs> i didn't really know how to well i didn't know how to mix at all like at all and i, I kind of knew how to um how to arrange but not to the degree of how your songs were sounding. And I'm like, how the hell can I make my beat sound like Lee's? Cause this is fire. And I'm mm. like, okay. So I'm like, so I just followed the videos and steps and I'm like, okay, I just do this, do this, do this. And before I knew it, I put a beat together and I'm like, okay, so he did this and arrange it this way and this way. And then I'm like, wait a minute. There's so many ways to arrange a beat. And <laughs> when I, when I figured it out, I was like, okay, this is, this is now fun. Because before it was a headache because I had no idea what I was doing. You know, I was in the dark, but oh, it was it was it was a long journey. But like arranging and everything, that was that actually that's what the first thing I told you. I was like, I want to learn how to arrange a beat. Like I know how it's supposed to sound, I know this and that, but how do I arrange it to make it sound like a real song? Mm. And you gave me the knowledge, brother. So I got to thank you for that, man. Wow, that's awesome, man. I'm so glad I could help. That's cool. And, and that's really cool. Um, So the mixing, the arranging, coming into it, how how much music, like production in terms of making beats, like what was your skill set at coming into the program? Um, well, This is funny. Um, It was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um. Back before I was even writing, so I got probably probably like sixth grade, I had a PS2, right? There was this video game called MTV Music Generator. And okay. that's where I actually first learned to arrange like musical instruments and stuff and just put it in a line. And then all, all of a sudden I just made a beat. And that came from PS2. <laughs> All right. So that that's the nutty part. And what really made me think about it was we were on a call one day and Corey said something like, when it starts to feel like a video game, it gets fun. Oh, that's right. Great. So I was I it just, I just it just clicked. I'm like, oh, MTV music generator. Cause ah. I oh man, like if I still had it, I would just like hook it up and like let you listen to the beats. Like they were way before my time. Like they were wow. And I just think about it and I'm like wow, I, I've been arranging music before I even knew I was arranging music. Mm. I didn't even know it had a, had a name to it. I just was putting mm. things together and making it sound good. That was what I did. You know what I'm saying? So That's really interesting. That's so interesting. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that you did that. Okay, so you were making beats on PS2. Um, that's when you were getting started. So, I, so then, okay, so you came into the program and your main thing in your mind was arranging and mixing? Yes, yes. Got you. Okay. Did you have, before you came into the program, as we started talking, did you right. have like an end result in mind of what you wanted to get out of the program? Yeah, honestly, um, I just wanted to learn how to make beats, mix them, 
make them sound good and possibly sell them. Cause honestly, like mm -hmm. I'm a connoisseur when it comes to instrumentals. Like before I listen to any song, I want to hear the instrumental. That's the way I've always been since a kid. Like it was never the lyrics that grabbed me first. It was the sounds, the instruments, the music itself. Mm. That's that's where that's that's in my soul. Like that's right there. Like if I don't care if you ever spit a lyric, just let me hear the beat. You know what I'm saying? I'll just vibe off the beat. That's all I need. Hmm. So. Okay. So you wanted to get like, you wanted to get into, you were already producing. Like clearly you've, you've been drawn to the sound of the instruments, like you said, and oh, you've yeah. been writing. Mm -hmm. It sounded like you wanted to level up everything and get to that point where you're really at like a professional level. Yes. Yes. Cause it's like, like I told you before, like my number one like inspiration was Dr. Dre. Still is Dr. Dre. All right. G Funk was my everything back in the 90s. That's why I love the West Coast so much. Like if I had to give anything to music, it would be the West Coast. Even though I'm from New Jersey, West Coast. Right here. You know what I'm saying? That's my jam. Huh. So. Okay. I didn't know that either. That's cool. <laughs> um, okay, got it. And so in terms of what your expectations were right. coming into the program and now where you are, yeah. did the expectations, did, did it meet your expectations, go below, exceed? What could, you know what I mean? Like, how did that all happen? Brother, super exceeded. Really? Right? Yes. Because I didn't cool. really see myself as like an artist, like a rapper or nothing like that. Like, I I, I seen myself as like an artist, like um Dr. Dre, you know, Pharrell, just people behind the scenes making the shit look good. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. That's my whole thing. And 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 my my friend was here, he'll tell you the same thing. I never wanted to be in be the star. I want to be in the back making y'all look good. You know what I mean? That I just want to be the the puppet master, you know, with the strings, making everything work. Basically. That was my whole thing. But like now, it's like I got the whole spiel now. So it's like, you know what? Why not just go for it all? Mm. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not go for it all? So here we are. <laughs> That's awesome to hear. Yeah. So grateful that I could exceed your expectations. Like that means a lot to me. Sure. Um, okay. Now I'm curious though, right? You said, so originally you were like, I want to be this behind the scenes guy. Yeah. But now your mindset is that you want to go for it all. Yeah. What do you mean exactly? Can you dive more into that? Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Okay, like I never see so you have like um see I'm old school so when I say like one and all like like a DMX like like a, a Jay Z like a Nas like these guys they can they can they can produce they can but they're known for their lyricism you know what I'm saying so when I was sitting there and I'm started making these beats and I started you know I'm like I really have to dial down with my lyrics because. I want to be like one of the greats now because now it's like, I got a taste for making beats. I got a taste for mixing and all this. I'm like, I could really do this if I really truly wanted to, mm. you know? Cause before I wasn't really, I wasn't really okay with my lyrics. Like they were okay. But mm. as I got older, more mature, read more books, you know, versed myself in the world, the lyrics just started coming to me and it just started coming together. And I'm like, dude, this is, this is easier than I thought it would be because it's like, oh, you got to have bars. You got to have, nah, it just got to sound good. You know what mm. I'm saying? And, it, and it's got to have meaning to it. So it's like, that's what I grew up on. You know what I'm saying? Like all these, all these rappers that came before me, everybody was a lyricist. All the words had meaning and they were just, they just had this, that it factor. You know what I mean? They just had that it factor. And it's like, I look at you, I look at everybody else in rapid fire and I'm like, they got it. They mm. got it. So I'm like, and the way you be pumping me up, man, I'm like, yo, I can do this. I can do it. I can do this. Sick. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, it's honestly because of y'all. Honestly, it's because of y'all. I look at what y'all doing and y'all push me to be better every friggin' day, man. Every time I see one of y'all drop something, I'm like, oh yeah, that, I want that. You know what I'm saying? I want that. Wow. You know what I mean? So that's what really pushed me like, yo, I, 
I could do this. I could really do this. And here we are, man. I'm doing it. That's dope as fuck. That's <laughs> awesome, dude. Like, that's so sick. I love that. I didn't even, re you know, dude, sometimes like when you're in the fucking trenches, like I'm in the trenches with building the business. Yes. I lose sight of certain things like that. Like, I had no idea that this was your experience, right? I'm just here, get on calls, coaching you guys, helping you guys out, answering your questions, James, when you need them. Um, but dude, sometimes I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on always. And, um, I think that's fantastic. I love dude. Even for me, when I first started rapid fire, my goal was really like, I was focused on the one-to-one -one of like, I'm going to help one person at a time. Like that was kind of my, I don't know. It was just very tunnel vision, right? Like James is here. I'm going to help James Ryan. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna help. But I did not ever imagine what the community would turn into. I never, I didn't know. I, I just wasn't even thinking about it. I was like, yeah. oh my God, they're going to help each other, right? Like they're going to give each other game. They're going to help each other. I didn't imagine that. Like I didn't know that was going to be a part of it. Can you yeah. just kind of touch on what value you've gotten out of the community aspect of it? Oh, my God, the community. Okay. Now, now we're getting into the fun part, brother. Um, When I met these individuals, uh, matter of fact, when we first started, were we on Slacker? I think we were on, I think we were on Slack. See, now we just moved back to Slack. Slack. Okay. We back to Slack. Yeah. Today. Thank you for that. I that think we cool. were, I think we were on, damn, I don't remember. I guess when you were there. Like it was, I, it was. I think we were on Slack when you were there. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, dude, like just, just being there, just in the community, watching everyone do this. Okay. I'm dropping this. Okay. I'm doing this. Okay. I'm doing that. And in that time, I was just getting my hardware and my software, right? And I'm just paying attention, just watching everyone and their interactions. And I'm like, this is exactly where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were helping each other out. They were like, nah, maybe you should try it this way. You should do this, da 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 And I'm like, dude, this is... People are, people, people are giving criticism and they're not even like taking it to heart. They're like, thank you so much. You're helping me. I appreciate it. And I'm like, this is, this is where I want to be. This mm -hmm. is it right here. That's why, like, if I talk to any of my friends and family, I'm like, nah, Mondays, no, no, can no, no, go. I got to be with my peoples. You know what I'm saying? Monday, uh... the time it is from eight to nine, don't you call me, don't text me, leave me alone. I'm with the rapid fire family right now. You feel wow. me? Wow. I mean, so that, that's just how the community is right now. Because the community is everything to me, man. Like, being able to, bounce ideas off of people is a beautiful thing mm. Dang, man. really is fuck yeah that's great <laughs> dude yeah hell yeah like that's awesome i love that you've shared that you like um you know kind of told your your people around you like dude don't bother me mondays at eight to nine yeah, um, we, we got time. rapid fire yeah totally yeah, dude, dude. <laughs> that's awesome um and yeah the also the the feedback thing oh, yeah. is huge and I mm -hmm. honestly, I'm going to, I really want to facilitate more of that because I know, so when I, uh, quick about me, this is mostly about you, but I want to relate it to you. So like mm -hmm. when I grew up doing music, I've always had people physically around me that did music. Like mm -hmm. all my boys do music, mm -hmm. all of them. So my like, okay. So Corey even came later, but my boy, Gabe, Melvin, Jason, like I literally went to high school and college with like we all did music. My friend group did music. Right. And then obviously then I met Corey blew me away. So like, mm -hmm. I've always been around music and musicians. And I think I kind of took it for granted because once I started rapid fire, I started getting clients like yourself. Yeah. Um, a lot of people in the program, like, dude, no one around me does music. I'm like, what? Like some people are like, I don't even know any other musicians other than rapid fire. And I'm well, like, I'm like, that's crazy. It is. But it's 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 very real and it is what it is. And I'm like that I didn't even dude, it never occurred to me. I thought we all had other music homies. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, to this to now, I thought we did too. We That's don't. crazy. Dude, not everyone does. Like a lot of people don't have people physically around them that are that are their friends right. that do music. And so um I I really want to facilitate more of 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 what it was I had when right. I was like with my boys, it, it, it's not the same as being in the car in the Toyota. Oh no. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Freestyling oh, after right school. There. Oh, that's the vibe right there, brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I want to figure out a way to 
facilitate more of that in, in this program. What ideas do you have? You know, you've been in the program. I know you have great things to say, but we can always get better. What, what do you feel like we could do as a community in rapid fire music Academy to like facilitate more of that and come together even more? Well, honestly, one of us is already doing it. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think, uh, when did he start this? The, uh, jam sessions. Oh, Austin. I want to say when did Austin start? I, I I haven't been to one yet because I've been working so so much, you know. So jam sessions. Oh, uh, I that right there. Like if we can all like just go to a jam session, you know what mm. I mean? Just 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 jam out and vibe out. That right there, that right there could just bring out the vibe where you could just put on an instrumental and you with your homies and you just start flowing in the car and whatnot. Like it'll it'll mm. it'll probably give that type of feeling right there. Cause that's the mm. big guy when he said, you know, let's all get together and just vibe out on Discord. And I'm like, that sounds like a great idea. If I didn't have mm. to work tonight, oh my god, I'd be right there, man. Oh right. man, but no, nah, he he got it. That's it right there. The jam, the jam session. sessions. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, um, get that. Woo, that'd be nice. And I okay, so and just, dude, I'm literally like fucking taking notes right now. Uh, what you're saying. <laughs> so like, what? Okay, like let's say you were to come to a jam session. Like, what right. ideally would that what would it look like? Well, I mean, I was going to say what structure, but I guess the lack of structure is the point, but like, what, what do you, what would you want out of like a virtual jam session? Um, anybody can bring their beats or, or, or a song that's already done or just anything like preferably a beat. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know, maybe somebody else may like that beat and you might get a feature on that beat. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, okay, Lee, you, you brought a beat or whatever. And I'm feeling like, yo, let me get on that. Let me hop on that. You know what I'm saying? And the next thing you know, we got a song. Okay. So. So it sounds like it's sort of like a bring music to work on type of thing. Basically, yeah. Bring music to work on. Okay. I'm just writing it down. Bring music to work on. In terms of sharing ideas, like, mm -hmm. could you also say, hey, I'm, I'm bringing you guys a song where I'm already working on it. I'm not looking for a feature, but like I'm get, trying to get feedback type thing. Oh, like, hell yeah. Why not? That'd be perfect. Okay. Yeah. Bring music to work on feedback slash ideas. Okay. Let me ask you a question. What's Why up, are we not already doing that on the one group call we have? Bro, that's what I'm going to touch on. Cause honestly, you the man, you are a coach. So it's like when, when you have something, an idea, it's already lit. So it's like, we're basically mm. doing that as we're going, like you'll make a beat and it'll be fire. And it's like, mm. we already doing that basically, but we're just not diving deeper into that aspect. That's all. You know? Ooh, what do you mean by what you just said? Oh, deeper into the aspect of it. You said um, we're not diving deeper into that aspect. What is yeah. that aspect? Literally just focusing on like, say, okay. um, Say like, okay, uh, we have a workshop today. I'm going to make a beat. And like, if we make that beat, like, what if one of us is like, yo, Lee, I like this. I like this beat. You know, and from there, it's like, hey, maybe we could do this. Maybe we could do that. Da, 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 da. Like, just, just from that, like, it's just so many ways you can go about it, bro. Like, it's just, my mind is racing right now. That's why I can't really think. But, but it's like, there's just so many ways. And, and it's like, you're already implementing it. All we have to do is just dial in on what that one thing we want to do is, you know, because you know how we do on our calls. We can go left, right, up, down, all around. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just how, yeah. that's how we do things in the, you know, when we meet up in the group, yes. which I love. It's very abstract. I love it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, maybe you might have an idea, but then like, say, I don't know, my boy Tyler, who's working on something right now, you know, he's like, yo, um, I got this song, da -da -da -da, load it up. You know what I'm saying? Let's listen to it. And then maybe that's like half hour. And then the next half hour we got, we can be like, okay, well, we got this beat right here. Let's focus on the beat and see how we can make it better. And if anybody likes it, you jump on whatever, boom, 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 you know, or send your feedback about it. What do you like? What you don't like? You know, things of that nature. Mm. Okay. Here's what I'm hearing. What up? Because I get what you're saying. Our current calls, it is like I've got workshops usually planned. So it's kind of like, hey, you guys are all going to show up. I'm going to, Lee's going to show you guys something, put you on game. And you guys are going to oh. sit back and listen and maybe give feedback here and there. But we're going to watch Lee or Corey work. The open right. jam session, it sounds like it's like everyone's going to work on something together. Yes. 
Yeah. I love it. And I can understand why we don't combine those because it's like good to have those two separate things. Yes. Yeah, that's fire. Fuck yeah. with that. I like that a lot. Huh. Right. Really cool. I love that. Um. Okay. But up to this point, you've already felt like you've loved the program. We haven't had the open jam sessions. The program is still really good. Oh, yeah. Um. What other things, let me ask this. What did you get out of the program that you weren't expecting to get out of it? <laughs> um friendships new friends um wow oh uh, let's see um just just gems you guys drop every week man like you'll say oh i seen this on instagram check this out and it's like what the how do i not know about this you know what i'm saying y'all be putting me on so much so much game and it's like bro if i can just share this with the people that are in my circle it'll be better for them, but I'm trying to bring them suckers in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I want them to get this experience. It's, it's, it's not about the knowledge. Honestly, it's about the experience in the journey, bro. Cause it's like, at the end mm. of the day, you look back and it's like, damn, like, for instance, I started last December, bro. We in November, you feel me? Mm. Like it's been almost a year I've been here and it's like, I've learned so much. And it's just like, from where I was, I, I just, I can't say I want to give up because there's no way I was going to give up, but I just felt so, oh, I can't get this. You know, I'm, I'm hitting a wall. I can't figure this out. Boom, boom, boom. And then finally something clicks and you start having fun. And before you know it, months have passed. You done made like 20 beats. You done made like two or three songs and you're ready to release some suckers. And you're like, holy, how did I do this? How did I do this? How am I releasing songs? I ain't even know how to arrange anything. And I'm about to release a song? what like it's the journey bro the journey's everything dude that I, I... <laughs> dude that's a... man james you hype me up bro like i appreciate that that that's great and i've been happy to be supporting you for this journey and yeah that is crazy i you know i'll be honest with you i didn't remember that that's when you joined it was december i did i didn't think about it and to hear that you, yeah, you've been working with us for a year. Like you've been wanting to stay here for that long. Mm -hmm. Like that's fucking awesome. Like that's, that really, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's really great, man. Well, dude, I'm so pumped for the song to come out for standing on business. I'm going to blast it on my social media. You have full rights to spam it all in our community, of course. Um, but dude, where can people find you? Where can people check you out? All right. Um, right now. I just have Instagram. I did have TikTok, but I had to finagle some things. So I'm going to make another TikTok. But right now, you can catch me at uh, JP underscore Jameson on, on Instagram. And um, basically, that's that's what I have right now. Because right now, I'm getting my platforms back together. Because I used to have Facebook and all this, but I had to shut all that down because I want to focus on music. Mm. And I didn't want too many outlets, you know, pulling me away from it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just shut it down to Instagram. Which is funny because that's how I found you, but um, that's so funny. <laughs> but like that's that's basically what I'm doing right now. But once I you know drop this song or whatnot, I'm gonna start making my TikTok again, getting back on Facebook and just pumping as much as I can, man. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, James, thank you so much for like doing this interview. I, I'm I didn't I didn't expect all this all these vibes, but it's been great. Thank you, and um. I guess if anyone's watching this, right, and they've booked a call with me, or maybe they're thinking about booking a call to come enroll in Rapid Fire Music Academy, what yeah. would you tell them before they come show up to that call? Make sure you want it. Make sure you want it. You know what I'm saying? If you're about it, don't call because you're not ready. You're not ready. If you're ready and you're willing to put in the work, do it. Because honestly, this is the best investment I've made in my entire life. My entire life. So if you're ready to make music and you're ready to get a career going, this is where you want to be. Wow. Just got my sound bite for Instagram. <laughs> James, you are the fucking man. I appreciate you so much. Uh, anyone who's watching this, go follow James, shoot him a DM, tell him you watched this interview. Um, man, man, I, I really appreciate this. Like, Appreciate your time, energy, and attention. Appreciate you being such a highly valued contributing member of Rapid Fire Music Academy. I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate you and everything you've done for me, player. Thank you so much, man. Absolutely, bro. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, guys. 
See you on the next video. Peace.